I get asked really, really frequently, when should you use an agency, if at all? When should you use a freelancer? And when should you have your Google Ads managed in-house or personally? Now, this is a tricky question and it really comes down to the business owner or the decision maker, what they're wanting from the role. All of these different areas and different people or um, experts or whatever you wanna call them, uh, categories of personnel, they all have their strengths and weaknesses. Uh, agencies get a bad rap because yes, a lot of agencies are terrible. And the main reason I see that they're terrible is that, well, they don't really specialize in anything or they're not experts in it. A lot of them are using outdated strategies. And the big one is most of them are just really heavy, heavily, heavily um, skewed to having lots of salespeople versus the people actually doing the work. And I understand why, because as an agency, you do need to be doing sales. And so if you can sell a lot, you can make a lot of money, right? The downside to this model is that if the salespeople aren't Google experts, because most of the time they're not, like I am not a good salesperson, I'm very good at Google ads and I'm good at other parts of the business, but in terms of actual sales, I wouldn't say I'm very good. But most agencies have phenomenal salespeople closing deals regularly, and that feeds them and helps them grow. Now, obviously, if they don't invest some of that money into experts, you're gonna get a very poor result for the client. And this is where a lot of people are burnt. They overpromise things from salespeople. The agency doesn't deliver. And so this is the issue and what happens and why the client doesn't get good results. And what happens is communication ends up being poor, um, which is a big one. A lot of agencies have terrible, terrible communication because they have too many clients and the account manager is someone junior they're a lot of the time offshore and actually English may not be their first language if you're an English speaking country and you're, you're getting the service. And quite often, a lot of these agencies are very, very overpriced for the service they deliver. What I have tried to do myself is kind of have a boutique experience which has a very, very small team, really mainly overseeing everything is overseen by myself and I'm the person training people. And so people become Google Ads experts because I've been doing it for many years and this is my area of expertise and I try to deliver the best possible result to my clients and the highest level, I guess, of service as well. So when someone is my client, I make sure that absolutely everything gets done as quickly as possible, so long as it's within reason. I'm not saying we're going to be working into the early hours of the morning or anything like that, but if my client wants something done and they're a good client, and you know, we've been working together a long time because that's my approach. I like to focus on client retention versus keeping having to do lead gen. Um, I did slow down my lead gen too much recently and that's why I've increased it a little bit. And also I have a bit more capacity because I have a slightly bigger team now, still very small. And so that's the reason that I've been able to work how I am. Now, the method and the approach I have is better than a lot of agencies, but it still doesn't suit some people. Some people do not have the budget for even a small agency like myself. Those people are probably more likely to run the ads themselves, especially if they have the time to learn it and if they have the aptitude. I've worked with some phenomenal business people that are very, very good at Google Ads. And if they have the time, they actually sit there, learn it and do a very, very good job of managing it. Alternatively, they may want to train someone in their approach and style and manage it in-house. The benefits of that are the same benefits as if you're managing it. If you're managing an ad account and it's your money on the line, it's very, very different to if it's someone else's money uh, that you're spending, right? So even myself, whereas I try my very best to consider every dollar of my client's spend to be my own money, how would I do it? And I see it as, as a capital allocator. So I see being an agency and a Google Ads manager as a capital allocator. For those of you that are familiar with Warren Buffett, he is the master capital allocator. So if you wanna learn more about that, look, listen to his stuff, read all of his uh, letters to shareholders and learn more about capital allocation. Capital allocation is basically going, hey, I've got this money, where is it best spent and what's gonna give me the best return on investment? And I see each campaign, each product as an area that I can invest capital into, right? And in, in also in terms of that as well is like different uh, marketing channels and different areas with, that could promote growth within a business, they're also areas you can invest capital into, right? Now, if you're managing yourself, 
versus an agency, it's your money. Obviously, you are going to put the absolute highest amount of effort into making sure that you are making the best decisions for the ad account. The person who it's not their money, no matter what you do, will not do it as well as you. Like, <laughs> will not, maybe not do as well depending on the level of expertise, but they won't treat it as if it's their money. So it's a different experience. And it's the same if you have someone in house, it is still not their money if they're paid a salary. And so, in fact, I would say that the agency is more incentivized than the in house person to do it well because the agency relies on the client sticking around to help them pay their bills, grow their business. Otherwise, the client's going to leave and they're not gonna get that money. Whereas in-house, it's very hard normally to get fired from these sort of jobs unless you're doing an absolutely terrible job, right? If you're doing a terrible job, you're probably gonna get fired, but you can really coast along in some of these jobs. An agency cannot coast along. If they are not getting results, they will be fired. And normally contracts are relatively flexible and, and easy to get out of in this space. So it, it's not in their best interest to, to do that. There is a big benefit to hiring in-house though. You have someone there throughout the entire workday to ask questions. There's not a lag in communication. There is also, you know, you provide the training regimen there, um, the accountability in terms of they're always there. Um, if you want to do campaigns really quickly, they're there. An agency can pull that off, but it's not going to be quite as fast, right? There's going to be a layer of complexity, a layer of communication. So. And it's the same, uh, freelancers are very similar to agencies. I guess the, the cost of a freelancer is normally less. Um, sometimes they're even better specialists than agencies because if an agency is a generalist, um, particularly, so I don't like to think of myself just as a Google Ads expert, but an e-commerce marketing expert, that's kind of my niche, which primarily driven by Google Ads. Um, but my understanding of all the other marketing channels is very, very high, higher than the average person because I've had to, right? If I didn't do that and I didn't know how they all work together, I couldn't run Google Ads to the best possible level. So that's why um, I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm explaining my position. Um, and it kind of depends on where you are in your business. Um, bigger businesses tend to want to hire in-house because there's a cost saving. Sometimes agencies get to the point where if it's a full-time salary, the person starts to go, mm, maybe I can just hire someone in-house. I've got them there. Um, you know, I know what they're doing. I can control. Control is probably the biggest one. With an agency, you don't have a high level of control. And most business owners, most, not all, really like to be in control. And uh, it comes down to the business, comes down to the individual, comes down to, as I said, the size. Normally, the bigger businesses want agent. Uh, some bigger businesses want agencies and don't want to do it. Others want to hire in house so they have the control. Um, and some people just want a really good freelancer. Normally, these businesses are a little early on in the, uh, I guess, uh, stage of an e-commerce business or a business. And the reason they want that is they're normally cheaper. Um, they're normally quite well trained and specialist. They do have a bit more flexibility than an agency. And it's almost like a rent and employee, I guess. Um, and they do a lot of the grunt work. I find quite often though that freelancers tend to not always, you get a lot of freelancers that are very new and don't have experience. So if you're scaling, I don't, unless there's a freelancer out there that is a specialist in scaling, it's gonna be quite tricky. Um, whereas, you know, some agencies, myself included, really specialize in scaling and getting the absolute most out of your Google Ads. So that's just my two cents on this topic, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different to sometimes what I put, but a lot of people ask me this question. So um, thank you so much for listening and I will see you in the next video.